The toolbar across the top of your machine is your link to all the different areas. First off, we have our stitch menu. Easy way to pick your stitches and to jump around from area to area. Next is our alphabet or font menu. So these are our sewing fonts. And when we go to these, we can spell out different names. And, and when we are in our embroidery mode, that will also be where we can pick our fonts for embroidery. Now, when we go back here, I'm going to go ahead and just touch OK here, get back to our regular stitching. This is our um, file menu manager, file manager, where we can save stitches or retrieve designs based on what we save in the machine or what's on our USB stick. Next, we have our diamond menu. When you touch it, you'll have three options. One is a, a tools or a set menu. This has a ton of things in it. We will actually do a separate video on all the areas of sewing settings that you can set up for yourself. You also have a sewing machine. The sewing machine is actually your sewing advisor. And then the last one in the diamond menu is your eye for information. So the eye for information will actually take you to a built-in manual. So let's say you're looking for something, you don't have your manual close by, you can do it in a couple different ways. You can jump for, if you want to know something about tension, you can touch T for tension and come into the area of tension or twin needle or, <laughs> or, or, and you can go ahead and go from, um, screen to screen in that area. Another thing you can do is kind of go in by category. So you can go in here and go into like embroidery setup. Uh, once again, very similar to what you have in your manual. Uh, the information here is your name, your serial number, what version, and so very easy to get around in this area. Okay, so once again, let's come out of here. And the last thing that I want to show you, well, two more things, the question mark. Let's get back to just a regular straight stitch. On your machine, there's going to be times where a symbol doesn't make sense to you or you forgot what it was. So if you touch the question mark, it blinks, and then you can touch a area, a stitch, or a function. So what's this little pile of spaghetti down here? That actually is for free motion. Opens a window where you can select the free motion setting. So anytime you want a free motion quilt, you do need to actually set it for free motion. Um, what about a stitch? So we can go in here and pick a stitch. What is that stitch used for? So that is a nice thing to do. Um, you can even pick a foot. Um, it will show you what that foot is uh, for recommending. Uh, for that particular stitch. Now the last one is kind of like a little toggle. As you touch it, it will bring us over to the embroidery mode. So just slide it on over and you'll hear your feed dogs lower and so forth. You can go over and do something in the embroidery world uh, without having your embroidery unit attached. And what's nice is what you leave on your screen, you can kind of toggle between um, screens here from the sewing side to the embroidery side and it, it doesn't lose it which is really nice and then when you're ready to embroider you just put your embroidery unit on it'll, and continue on with putting your hoop on and so forth so if you ever find yourself not in the sewing world that is the uh, little gateway between sewing and embroidery